Alright, so this game I'm going to be playing Poppy against Trindamir. In top lane, he has Flash and Ignite, which means that he can't really get away from me. He can flash over some walls, but as long as I zone him in a way that prevents him from jumping over a wall, I can easily get a kill on him because he can't really run away from me. So I'm just going to speed up to the beginning bit. Don't really think anything happens. Mm. Oh, stuff happens here. No one actually dies. <laughs> so that was exciting and all, but nothing big. So we're gonna go help out Moon here. Pretty much, I'm picking up my Q first because I think I can out harass um, Trindamir. So anyone that wants to trade with me early on, I will pick up Q against because it's very powerful against them. So yeah, I already dropped him half his HP within like as the first 40 seconds of laning. So he has to probably burn all his pots, or at least two of them. Well, maybe not. Yeah, so I'm just slowly dropping damage on him. I actually went boots first this game. So this makes it easier for me to catch up to people. And I do find it pretty useful. Right now, I don't want to take too much creep damage. Even though they don't do that much to me, it's still something that does add up. So he doesn't really want to trade with me. I don't really want to trade with him because I'm kind of low. So I'm. it's all pushed up to my tower, so I will farm at the tower really easily. Or I will try to do. But his taunt thing kind of messes me up. So that's just one thing to watch out for. He doesn't, he can't really kill me, but he can mess up my CS by spamming his W. So right now, I'm pretty much waiting for enough gold to back you though. But it's a bit risky, because I'm kind of low. If someone ganks me right now, I might have issues. Amumu is coming right now though, so that's really good. Yeah, I don't know why he flashed it. That was a misclick. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, he thought he was he had exhaust. Um, that was weird. So Mumu's being really manly right there. That I don't know. I was like, "Don't go in, Mumu. Don't do it." And he vanishes, and I'm like, "Oh god." <laughs> so hitting Trindamir, he's hitting me. He does almost, he does some damage to me, but I regen it back pretty quickly with Hilo Stone. I drop him pretty quickly though. So what does he have right now? He has attack speed, cloth armor, boots. He does not have any regen. So he is level 6 though, so that means I can't kill him. So right now I'm just pretty much getting into my tower and leaving it here. This is a perfect spot for me to farm. Right now he's at 35 CS, I have 38. But I do have a lot of creeps built up right here so that I can easily farm. And he has to pretty much run to my side of the river to do anything. So yeah, I'm just taking these creeps. He can't stop me from keep, um, freezing the lane. And that makes it very difficult for him to do anything. Like, that is Poppy's greatest strength in laning. She can freeze a lane extremely easily because she takes almost no damage. Especially with my armor page. If you're running MR and stuff, you will take by 3 to 5 damage or more from minions. But if you're running full armor, you take almost nothing. So I'm killing Trinomir here. Easily pick him up. He has no chance to get away. You do you might notice that I drop him to zero. He uses his ult. I wait about two or three seconds before I throw my ult and my ignite on him just to, to secure the kill. Don't really want to risk anything happening. So right now Corky has six kills. So right now we're not doing so hot. I'm winning my lane and Ryze is doing okay. Vagar has a lot of CS, but Vagar does have a kill. Amumu is doing extremely well, but bottom lane needs some time to catch up. So right now we're pretty much just buying time for them. So yeah, I'm just slowly harassing him down. It's pretty tough for him to do anything against me. You might notice I accidentally Q a few times. I'm trying to hit him with my Q, but he runs back just in time. Yeah, so I burned his ult right there. So I know it's down for about a minute or two. I'm not exactly sure what the cooldown is, but that's enough time for me to do something. So yeah, Q him, just constantly Q him. So now that I know his ult's down, so I want to do something here. 
I try stunning him into the wall, but I kind of fail. I just end up ulting and guiding him and he drops anyway. So, no problem there. Just gonna back off now. Pick up Ninja Tabbies, pick up Ruby Crystal, some more HP, some pots, some wards. Really useful. So now he basically does no damage to me. And we're easily gonna kill him right here. Yeah, he stands no chance. Like, Amumu's pretty tanky. He can take the tower for a bit. I can, I have 150 armor. I can take the tower for a long time. I, at least 5 or 6 shots before I have to worry about getting out. Even without my ult. So now I'm just farming up. I want back soon. I, I, I see him run through here. I just stun him easily. Do a ton of damage to him right off the bat. So I just keep harassing him. Keep harassing him. I accidentally take a tower for a bit longer than I intend to, but it's not really a problem. So I chase him down. He actually uses his heal, and I almost missed the kill because I turned back around because I thought he was already dead. I thought he already used his Q once, but apparently the cooldown is short enough that he had time to use it again. So I'm just buying health pots, wards. I'm well on my way to a pretty fast strategy, so this is really good. So right now I'm just farming. He is pretty scared of me. Okay, so a ton of stuff is happening here. There's a lot of enemies. I see who I can pick off, basically. But nope, there's way too many of them. I don't really want to try anything. So Shimmer does have red. It's not really a problem, though. He does a bit more damage because of it, but it's nothing I can't handle. Especially because I do so much more damage to him than he can do to me. So, Ezreal's catching up, and Corky is still pretty strong, but it's not a problem. I can deal with Corky eventually. I just explode Trinity right there. And now I have enough to buy a Trinity. So, Trinity is in a really bad spot. I run faster than him, I do more damage than him, and he really has no chance against me. And my team is just picking people off left and right. That's really good. Yeah, see, I just run at Corky. He has... he can't get away from me. No chance. Killing Baron. Kill Baron, kill Baron, stun people. Pick up Baron, get two kills. And this game's pretty much over. I'm actually surprised that Moomoo didn't die there. <laughs> that was really close. So... Let's run back top. Honestly, at this point, Ezreal is strong enough that he can do something to the enemy team. Like, he has levels on Corky, which is surprising because Corky has so many kills. But, no one else in the other team can really do that much. Vagar can pick off one person, but we have so many threats right now. We have, even a Mumu does a lot of damage. Janet does a lot of damage. Janet has a ton of AP. So, we just want to fight them whenever possible, because there's no way they'll win. So, I just run at Vagar, blow him up. Easily pick off Corky, run at Tarek, and they surrender. So when you're playing Poppy against Trindamir, you want to play pretty aggressively because he can't really do that much damage to you, especially with a lot of armor. So thanks for watching, hope you subscribe, and see ya. <laughs>